This video shows you how to find the coefficients of a Möbius transformation given some information. So a Möbius transformation is a function like what I've shown on the screen here. And here are four different points in the complex plane and their images through the transformation. Our goal is to find complex numbers a, b, c, and d that make this happen. This is not a terribly difficult task. You just need to substitute in, organize, and collect your pieces. But it's worth seeing how the calculation goes so that you can understand the structure. So let's do that. Let's substitute in the first point, this point here. So what is that? That is a times i plus b over c times i plus d is equal to 1. That's the first point. There's the second point. a times 2i plus b over c times 2i plus d. That's got to equal 0. Here's the next one. The next one says that a plus b over c plus d is equal to i. And the last one says a times 0 plus b over c times 0 plus d is equal to 2. OK. Those are the four equations that we now have. We have four equations and four unknowns. We just need to reorganize. The first thing to notice right off is that the red equation and the blue equation really only involve two of the variables at a time. And it's convenient to make the other equations into the same form, so something equals 0. That way, they're all more or less compatible with each other. And then reorganizing slightly. Okay, now we have four equations, four unknowns. All of them are linear combinations of A, B, C, and D, and they're all equal to zero. The best way to reorganize this sort of thing is in a matrix equation. Matrix equation that looks a bit like this. Is 